Greetings, Great Witch here. So today we're going to do some contact missions. The first one we'll start off with is Cops Capacity. This is a pretty cool one to play. And because they're double cash and double RP, might as well jump into them, make some cash, you know, have some fun. Rank up this character. Now, one thing you'll notice real quick is that the character that I'm playing on is not the normal character that I'm usually using for doing missions and all that. I'm actually playing on my old character, the old Great Witch character. So, uh... Yeah, and on this character, I don't own hardly anything, because I quit playing on this one right before the Cameron Witch DLC was. I remember the last thing I bought was something to do with the biker DLC. I think it was the counterfeit business or something like that. And then it was, that was pretty much the last time I played on this account. And the only other time I've really been on it was just to go in, just to, like, when they gave away free stuff, they'd be like, hey, sign in this day to make sure you get free stuff. And I would make sure I went in on this account. So I would get free stuff too, you know, free stuff also. And then, uh, like any time they were giving away a free car or something like that, I also went in and got it. So there's a few free cars that I have, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I got this, maybe one ten car garage. Uh, I own the CEO office, a couple other things, one small warehouse for special cargo. I own the same vehicle warehouse that I owned. In the, on my other character only because I bought a shark card just so I would be caught up to where I could have that and I've almost got that filled but other than that I don't own anything else on this no nightclubs no any of that other craziness and it's actually pretty cool just owning a few things except for the constant phone calls that you get oh my god they call everybody calls you you need to buy this you need to buy that I get as soon as I come into the lobby or start up the game it's like 10 minutes of that so that's annoying as hell, but otherwise, it's pretty cool just having a couple of things. Cause that way you don't have to worry about it, and I don't have so much coming out of my bank account every hour. Or every 20 minutes, you know, whatever it is. Oh, I still own the yacht, too, because that was something I bought with some <clears throat> cash that I got from somebody at one time on this character a very long time ago. Alright, since we're here, let's get these guns organized. Yeah, I don't even have any of the Mark II weapons. I still have just old, all the old regular ones. I think I'm going to use this shotgun. I've been kind of digging that one. It's kind of weird on its range, though. I don't know if I'll use it now, but... Oh, almost forgot to go over here and trigger this. Give me those grenades. Alright, so now we got to destroy the cop cars. This is pretty simple. And I like to do this a certain way. I just don't ride right up on it and destroy them. I like to finesse this first one. Because if you do it right, then you don't get the cops. And that's a big plus in this mission. Because it's timed each one once you start up this first part. So, let's get over here into this police station and do some damage. We're going to use some sticky bombs. Come right around here. Oh man, look at that. And I drove right into it like a moron. Got another dude backing up. Yeah, there's something going on over there. Let's let's get away from that spot. All right, so right over the side of this bridge. The police station is. We got two police cars to destroy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up, get out of the car, throw sticky bombs, and then just leave. Almost hit that car. And you want to stay back kind of far because you don't want that cop to be. Oh, hey, what are you doing? She don't want to get the cops yet. So just throw that one there. And then right over there. And that should be good. Now just jump back in the car. And we will take off. Now we're going to take this left right here. And then just go on down. And then in a few seconds we'll detonate those sticky bombs once we get far enough away. There we go. And I do not have the cops. Cool. Now sometimes that cop that was standing out there will walk over to get one of those cars and if you're far enough away from it, it still kills him. So you can still get the cops like that, but most of the time you won't have to worry about it. So now we got to destroy a riot van. we got a minute and 30 seconds left to do it. A little over that. You just pull up right here. Climb up on the corner of that wall. Oh, come on, dude. My dude's got difficulties climbing. 
use the rocket launcher just cause I'm not really worried about the money cause it's double cash not a P so it's not the issue. Alright, now we gotta go destroy some police bikes. These are over kinda near the Los Santos Customs. Kinda. Just head over here, try not to run these people over. I remember I was cutting through there one time in story mode, and I hit a dog, and I was just turning the game off. I was just like, <laughs> he, he was, I was like, man, I hit somebody's dog. I was like, yeah, that was just, that was it. I was like, I couldn't play anymore for the day. I was like, I was just bummed. That's why I don't like them putting dogs in games, stuff like that. If somebody kills my dog, man, I'm going to John Wick this whole map. That's why I don't want one in Red Dead, because somebody, I know somebody will shoot my dog, and I'll just lose it. All right, so here we are here. These up. You'd think just one explosion would take all these out, but I don't know. I've driven away and they've just the fire's gone out on them, so I make sure I blow them up. And now all we gotta do is head all the way out to Sandy Shores and blow up the prison bus. Ooh. I love driving this car. This thing doesn't play around. I love the ramming ability that this car has. Because, like, right there, if this had been the Karuma, I'd been spinning like a top. I mean, this car will still do that, but it's just the ramming ability. If you hit the car just right, you don't have to worry about anything. Alright, slink right on through. Hit the interstate. Zip on down there. And this car does have a pretty good, you know, acceleration. It's a pretty good car all around. I mean, it's a muscle car. I dig it automatically. But it's one of the good handling ones, so it's not too bad. It's not one that I use for dry, uh, racing. Just not a fan of using this vehicle for racing. I prefer the Deviant, the Blade, vehicles like that. Oh, he almost got me, but I got him in the end. Cops up here. See, that's the thing right here. You just push right through. Just blow her. No issues. I mean, it slowed me down a little bit. But if I'd just been in a regular car, I couldn't have got through all that. That's why I dig this one more than the Karuma. Even though the armored Karuma is, is probably a better car for protecting you. But I just like this one. Engine sounds better and everything. All right, so now we are here. Let's blow up this bus. And lose the cops. This is pretty simple. All we gotta do is jump over here on the railroad tracks. Get over here. Oop. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was gonna roll it. That other rock saved me. Come down here to get underneath this bridge so the helicopters won't see me, and then we should be pretty good. It shouldn't take too long with the cops. Alright, let's kill the headlights and pull up a little bit more. Hopefully, we should lose them pretty quick. Unless they all get out and start running down here. Ooh. Snatch the controller out again. Come on now, I should lose these. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. Alrighty. And I got an objective completed. Cool. Finish the rest of those up, make an extra 25,000. I don't even remember what they were. So you gotta be careful coming out of here sometimes though after you lose the cops. Because sometimes there'll be cops just driving through there and you'll run into one and then you got cops again and you gotta lose the cops. So be careful of that. But this mission is done. Let's get paid, move on to the next. See, I wasn't too bad, $26,000. And I don't really need that, but that's cool. How much ammo? $3,700. Sounds a little expensive, but with the double cash and double RP, it 
makes it just fine. All right, so let's watch one. Let's do this one. Crank up the volume. I ain't done this one in a while. All right. Turn that up. And good. I wish these had this to where you could set whether it was day or night, like the old missions used to. Okie dokie. Alright, so we gotta go hunt this thing down. Come on, get the car. I am terrible at shooting from this car, too. Well, I'm shooting from any car. Alright, so let's pull up the map, see where we gotta go. Oh, it's not very far at all. We ought to be there in just a couple seconds. It's not like driving this car. It gets up pretty good speed pretty fast. Acceleration's pretty it's pretty decent. Can get squirrely though. Oh man, I didn't even see that. Oh, there we go. Perfect example. But that wasn't too bad, I really got out of that. Oh, it's right there. Oh wow. Oh, it's, I've got... I forgot I don't have my settings set. I got them set to where, it, in this one, it's set to where you have to aim and fire and all that craziness. It's not just pull the trigger. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm trying to do it like this. I can do it, but it's going to be a pain in the butt. I aim just right. Dumping ammo for no reason. Oh, got him. Cool. That was luck. 100% pure luck. Alright. See? I like that shotgun. It works pretty good. The range on it, though, is kind of iffy sometimes. Because it can... Sometimes it'll seem like it takes out guys pretty good far distance away. And then other times it'll seem like it doesn't work at all. Hey, man, I got your RV. I'm taking this back. Oh, that made him mad. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have honked. Alright, so let's pull over here. And wait for the back. I thought there was another one behind me. Oh, here comes some more. See? That worked good. And then the other guy, it's like... That's just about the same distance, and it's not... Yeah. It's like I'm saying. Sometimes it works good, sometimes it's... I don't know. That's pretty much all the guns in every video game, though. I don't even know about shooting at over there. It's been rabbits. Shoot the damn rabbits. These guys are just going to keep popping up and popping up. Looks like there's a lot of them too. A lot more than there normally is. Up here. Gotcha. See, I like this weapon right here, the advanced rifle. This one seems to work pretty good too. It was always my favorite before the Mark II weapons came out. And then when the Mark II weapons came out, uh, the carbine rifle became my favorite. But with so much playing of Red Dead Online, I've really gotten used to the single shot weapons. It feels kind of weird to be shooting a machine gun. Uh, it's just weird. I don't know how many times I've run up to the road trying to call my horse in this game. Because a horse is convenient. 
I mean, you have to call a car in, you actually have to go get it, and then get in it, and drive it. The horse comes right to you. That's convenient. I mean, if I had nowadays to use a horse, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to get a lot lazier. Because the horse, you know, he'll just come right up here. You just jump right on him, take him right into the kitchen. You don't even really have to go anywhere. Just go, you can stay right on the horse. And I do believe you can't even get a DUI if you're on a horse. I could be wrong. I don't know. Probably can. But I think you wouldn't because the horse would be in control of the driving. You're just a passenger. I don't know. Don't test that theory. Is it probably? You probably will. Alright, so now all we gotta do is deliver this. We get paid some money. This wasn't too bad. I wish we'd get a bunch more of these whole, these type missions. We did get a few of them through... Uh, what's his name? At the car dealership, but... Simeon. Those, I don't know, they just didn't seem like they were really good missions. I mean, a couple of them were okay, but they just seemed like they were hard to be hard, not to be a good mission. I don't know. Just seems that way to me. Well, that's not too bad. Didn't really spend a lot of time in that. Let's see how much money we spent on ammo. Eh, that was a really good paying mission then. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's see. Do Richmond or Gentry does it. I feel like stealing some cars. Definitely not doing dry docking. Boo to dry docking. I don't even like doing that mission unless I got three people with me. All right. Let's kick that up. And there we go. I used to be able to make a lot of money doing these missions. Before all the other DLCs came out where you only had, used to be you only had missions and races and that was it. Those were the only ways you were making money. Well, I mean, you could do, uh, there was like death matches and captures and stuff like that, but those were pretty, unless you had a bunch of people to play with, they were, you know, relatively not any fun. The death matches could be fun sometimes. I can remember a few times just totally destroying people in them. So back in the day, I used to play them a lot. And then I realized that they actually destroy friendships pretty quick. So I used to be friends with a lot of other YouTubers and stuff like that. And we used to play death matches and all that crazy stuff. And then one night, we got into this one death match. And we just devastated these guys. I mean, we got down to where we were just using pistols. And we were still 10 to 1 on them. And... <laughs> Let's just say it costs some friendships. So, I don't, I don't like playing those anymore. Cause, you know, people get upset, and I don't really like playing like that. That's like I don't really like playing against other people in games, anyways. Because you got to have kind of that, I don't know, kind of a a type of bit of anger, almost a little bit of hate to play against another player. And I just don't like doing that about myself. I like to, I prefer playing against. You know, NPCs and robots, whatever you want to call it, playing against the game. Player versus pl uh, environment. Player versus player is just not something that was ever really a, a thing for me. I grew up playing games that were, you know, player versus environment. That was all what I've always, always done, so... I don't know, I just... I don't really enjoy the player versus player aspect of it. You know, racing, that's different. But when you're doing the combat games, that's just, I don't know. It just doesn't... There's never been anything that I've really enjoyed. And that was one thing about Destiny that I don't like now, is they're pushing more further for the player versus players type stuff. And I really only played that game for the player versus environment aspects of it. And I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what comes out later. But in the meantime, I am losing the cops, driving this through the tunnels. And these tunnels, they're the greatest. Especially this one. Because, I mean, you could spin up on the surface streets getting away from the cops. It shouldn't take you too long. I mean, but you really have to find a place to hide. And then sometimes they'll sneak around and get you and stuff like that. Well, the cops can't come down here at all. Unless you really got four or five stars and just come bringing them down in here with you. 
and if you just come through here, just drive through like I did, you'll lose the cops and keep moving the whole time. It's a little bit out of the way, but since you're moving the whole time, it really doesn't matter. And you get to lose the cops, you don't do any damage to the vehicle. Because this, this mission right here, there's really no, you know, you don't really have to be safe with the car. But because of the vehicle warehouse, any of the vehicles that I try to deliver, I try to deliver without any damage. That's just kind of my own, like, goals or whatever I put in the game to, you know, try to set that to where I don't do any damage. That way, when I go to do vehicle warehouse, you know, I do the same thing. I try not to do any damage to the vehicles. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Like, you know, right then I just rolled into the wall, but I try to. Alright, so let's crawl in this other vehicle. Oh, my vehicle, not the other one. I wish I could call in the other one. Mission be over just like that. Let's so have my mechanic go over there and pick it up. Go get that other car, bro. Alright. Jump in this and go do basically the same thing I just did. This is another mission that makes easy money with relatively no work. And that's one thing I, you know, GTA Online, I love this game. I've been playing this game pretty much every day since it came out. It's just non-stop playing this game. But I am really getting into Red Dead Online. With the addition of the roles that they have now, it's just been, I don't know, I, I really dig it. I really like the defensive system to where I can still play the game and I don't have to worry about other people. I mean, I've been killed a few times by other players, but... Mainly it's been just my own stupidity. Just walking up on people and not realizing what I was doing until it was too late because I wasn't paying attention. But, I don't know. This game, it just, I own, on my other character, I own almost everything. Everything that I could want. I own, you know, numerous bases and whatnots and all the vehicles, all the death machines, everything. And I don't even want to play it. I'm just like, meh, I don't care. And I barely own anything in Red Dead Online. And I want to be on there 24 hours a day. I think it's just because on Red Dead, I'm there's more of a drive to do something. In this game, it's kind of like, eh, there's really, you know, there's nothing left. I own everything. I've done everything. It's basically just repeating everything over and over again. And all of the DLCs are basically just reskinned. I mean, every DLC we've had has been basically the same thing, just with a different, different kind of thing on it. And I don't know. I'm just kind of burned out on it. I mean, I love playing this game. Don't get me wrong. I love racing. I love doing these missions. I actually like just hanging out with my friends and just goofing off and just, you know, destroying lobbies and having fun like that. But just sitting down and playing the game, it just, it's not really that fun anymore. Just, I don't know. And it takes forever to do anything. I know Red Dead's pretty much the same way, but I don't know. I guess it's because there's still everything so young and fresh in Red Dead. There's more of a drive to be there. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And I love driving this car, but I hate the way it sounds. I would own this car if it didn't sound like this. I actually wish the this car had the engine from that new car we just got, that Weenie Dynasty. Man, the engine sound in that thing is awesome. It's too bad it's such a dog of a car. I mean, it's a cool car, but it's just, it's kind of slow. I mean, it's actually pretty slow, real slow. I remember I got killed in here one time. I was waiting to lose the cops. And I was stopped right here inside this first part, right? Probably about somewhere right in there. And right as I looked up at the screen, it was right as the trolley or train was coming at me and it just pushed me right back into the stairs and blew my car up. It was funny as hell. Alrighty. Almost got this mission done. And I don't think I've done any damage to this. And it's finally getting daytime. Already. There's a lot more traffic out too. I'll make sure I can get this all the way there without getting any damage. 
be kind of cool if you got extra bonuses for not for a, like a no damage bonus or something like that but alas we have nothing like that all right let's park this one right beside the other one Simeon will come out say some stupid stuff and then I get paid interesting interesting well done yeah, he's probably like, oh, that's interesting. That's the first time you've ever brought to me without scratches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Another 26 thou. And 4,200. It's not too bad. And I don't think I fired a shot. Nope. Not a shot at all. Did not use any ammo. All right. So let's see. Ooh, let's do Lost MC Rip. This is a perfect sniper training mission. The only thing you have to remember about this mission is to hit the yellow dot at the beginning to trigger it before you start the mission. I know somebody sent me a message the other day talking about how they failed it because they keep forgetting about going to the mission. And I have failed this mission so many times because of not going to the, the startup target and just starting the mission up and going in and start shooting everybody. And then it just says, mission failed. You're like, why? I did it. No, you didn't go to start it up first. Alright, so let's jump in the ride. We're only going to need the sniper rifle and maybe one other gun, just in case if somebody tries to get sneaky. If not, then we'll just need the sniper rifle. Oh, that's what I get for looking at the mini-map. It's like, just making sure I was going to get up here. There's that little yellow dot. you got to make sure you hit this. Pull up here and get into my spot. Oh, I missed my thing. I was supposed to go the other way around the tree. It's been a while since I've done this mission. Come on now. I know you can make it up here. It's one of the few cars on this character that I have fully upgraded. I think I have this and the A Karuma. Not even the armored Karuma. Alright, let's let everybody get up. Get in their positions. And we're going to start sniping guys. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to snipe the people two at a time. Well, a couple of them. You can see all these bad guys are all over the place. But this group right here, we're going to snipe them right through the heads. We're going to hit both targets, one shot. As soon as they get their heads together. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing here, except we're going to go through the heart. Get over just a little bit more. As soon as the centers line up. There we go. Now we can take out these other guys, because they're all stirred up now. Oh, I got one coming up the hill. Where's he at? Somewhere. Yep, here he comes. machine gun and he's down switch back over to the sniper rifle and finish picking off these guys ooh just missed that guy oh, oh how do you get back up oh he's wearing a helmet that's why for some reason if you're wearing a helmet you can take two headshots for some reason This guy, and the guy in the front of him. Now I gotta get the magic guys. These guys just pop up. Watch, I'll shoot. And then another guy pops up. And then another guy pops up. And then that's it. I hate that it pulls me out every time I have to reload. That is so annoying. Let's get this guy right here. Step out. Surprise! Me another guy that just spawned because of him. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, he leaned forward just right as I was shooting. <laughs> that was total luck. All right, we got one guy back there, but I'm gonna blow that up first and then shoot him, and the mission's over. So, like I said, this one's like a real fun, easy sniping, sniper training mission. So, 
this one's the only thing you gotta do is remember to hit that mark and whatever money you make is cake on top of it Let's see how much ammo 398 bucks yeah nothing so that was pretty much all profit. Yeah, let's do this one too. This is a good sniper one too. This is actually one of the first ones that I ever played that I got good at sniping on. And that was back when you had to use the first, the, the one first sniper they gave you, sniper rifle. And I actually still like using that one. Because I'll keep that one silenced in case I need to use a silenced sniper rifle. It's not as strong, but you get in a little bit closer, the silence worked just as good. Alright, I know this is going to spawn me right here, so we are going to jump in the car and actually move away. And I know I'm like, you know, 200 yards away, I could easily just run down there and just do. But I have a particular way I like to do this, that's the way I'm going to do it do is I'm going to go back up this way, get up on the surface streets, and I'm going to head over to the bridge that overlooks where those guys are at. It's a much easier way of doing this. So if you go down over that way, the guys go all scatter and run around. All that crap. Nope, not there. Right here. And this way, when you're up above them, they, they pretty much stay in the in the area that they're at. You get a couple of them that'll you know squirrel around, get hide behind some stuff, but the majority of them stay right where they're at. And I think it's just because of the distance away you are. Okay, cut over right here, and we're gonna park on the sidewalk. Somewhere right in here. This is good. Now just stand up on the car and take the shots. You can actually shoot through the fence. So I prefer to shoot up here unless they start getting start hitting me pretty well. The guy you want to shoot first is the one with the leather jacket. You take out his girlfriend and then just start picking off everybody else. Got that guy. This guy. Ooh, somebody shoot me. Who's got the gun with the good shooting? Oh, there he is. He's the one hiding behind that thing. I gotta jump off there. Dude was eating up my armor. Let's see if I can get him to pop out. Oh, he ran over there. Come on, dude. Oh, I winged him. Oh, there he goes. Got my head right there. Got that guy. I know there's one more guy down there. He will not come out either. Hmm. Just gonna have to go down there and get him. He shot me up a bunch too. All right. Let's go down there. Take out this last guy and grab the meth. And then we'll go deliver it to Gerald. This is a pretty cool mission too. It's a pretty simple one. It's fun to do back in the day. I also like to come in through some of these old missions like this and try to do like a pistol challenge to where you can get through it with just a pistol. There's a few of them that I can do. I'm just not good enough with the pistol in this game. See, a shotgun works great for some things, but other things it's just kind of weak up all this cash. I'm not used to seeing dollar signs when I pick up money from these people. I'm used to like 11 cents, 7 cents, stuff like that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, ooh, almost wrecked. Now we got to get up here and there's going to be some guys that come for us. So I like to go straight across the street. And there's like a little alleyway deal where you can perfectly set up your car to defend for these guys that are coming. Right up here. Swing this around. Perfect. I wish I could leave the door open. I can't figure... I used to be able to know how to do it. It was like if you held A when you were getting out, it would leave it open. It doesn't seem like it's doing it anymore. Oh, 
these guys. This fan's rifle works pretty good. I like the other one too. I think it's the copy of the P90 or whatever GTA's P90 is. Works pretty good. Oh, I thought he was in front of the car right there. Alright, so all those guys are dead. Let's go drop this off over at Gerald's. Get paid. Cool. That wasn't too bad. Made a little bit of money. Had some fun. Played some, some pretty cool missions. It's too bad they don't have some new ones. Hopefully they'll get some more out. I doubt it, but hopefully we will. We did get some for Simeon, so maybe one day we'll get some more for Gerald and some of these other ones. I really would love some new Trevor missions. Those would be awesome. Trevor missions are probably my favorites. What you got? Got this big bag of drugs for you. All right. Cool. See you later. All right. Well, I hope this video was as much fun as it was for you as it was for me. I'll see you next time. Peace.